So which side is the gas tank on? There's no fuel tank, there's no engine, there's just a big battery that powers the vehicle. So what kind of gas mileage does it get? Again, it is a 100% all-electric vehicle, so there is no gas mileage per se. The EPA has an estimate of 100 miles to a complete charge. So what do they call the gas pedal? The gas pedal will be called the electric accelerator. If you can help me find the gas tank on an all-electric vehicle, I'd love to see it. Where's the tailpipe on this thing? There's no emission, so there's no need for a tailpipe. There is not one on this vehicle. If you run out of gas, what do you do? Well, if you run out of uh, the charge, Nissan has a complimentary towing service that will take you to the nearest charging destination for free. Why would anybody buy this car? You wouldn't happen to have one of these in black, would you? I've never considered myself much of a risk taker, but I've wanted an electric car since I was like seven years old and it took me 40 years to get to the point where I could actually buy one. I really thought we were just looking at the electric car, but knowing my husband, I knew that we weren't coming home the same day with one because that's just not the kind of person that he is. Three hours later, when we were signing the papers, I was a little bit concerned. I love it because I don't have to put gasoline in it and it only adds about $58 a month to our electric bill. You know, we've had this car for three months now and I drive it every day every day to work, to the grocery store to visit friends and family, and now I think I'm ready to sort of push the envelope. Already he wants to do something more than a little crazy with it. Operating room, Kathy. So now he wants to take this car on a long road trip. The electric car? Yeah, I know. And you have some long extension cord to plug in at all the rest stops. Every day I hear somebody say something new about the electric car. Electricity has much less of an impact on global climate change than burning fossil fuels in your car. Why would anybody want to pay $4 a gallon for gas? I can see the uh, gasoline engine fading away. This is too big to stop. Um, the writing's on the wall. This is something that we have seen and grown up with in comics, and now it's part of reality. But the thing is, it's the right thing to do. But the only way we can find out how much of that's really true is to hit the road and test both the car and the EV infrastructure across the state. Frankly, I thought we were going to Ireland for our summer vacation. That's what I was expecting. There are 10,000 gasoline pumps across the state of Maryland, but just 300 EV charging stations. So it's not going to be easy. But you know what? I still think it's time to take an electric road trip. Well, an amazing breakfast here at the Oak and Apple Bed and Breakfast here in Oakland, Maryland. And today, it's Monday morning, and we are getting ready to head out across the state of Maryland. We've been trickle charging the car all night long by plugging into an outlet behind the house, so hopefully when we get out there, we'll be ready to go. As near as we can tell, we're the first people to ever try to drive a 100% fully electric vehicle from Western Maryland here in Oakland, all the way across the state to Ocean City, Maryland, using just the electrical infrastructure that's there. Check this out. We had uh, magnets, car magnets made up for our trip, the electric road trip, but check this out. Not metal. I'm looking forward to it. I think, you know, the mountains are going to be a challenge, but hopefully if we have it mapped out correctly, if you've got it mapped out correctly, Let's hope. we shouldn't get left with the car. I think we'll be good. And we're going to see if we can do it kind of like, you know, John Q. Citizen can do it. You know, we don't have any special crew with us. We don't have a generator with us. We don't have people that are going to come and pick us up if we get in trouble. So we're just going to see if we can try to make our way across the state using the infrastructure that's there right now. Metal. A lot of these cars here are from like the early 1900s. What was it like to travel back then by automobile? 
Well, I wasn't around in the early 1900s, unless you consider 1929 early. But in those days, the early automobiles suffered from a lack of suitable roads. Most of the roads in Garrett County, for instance, were dirt roads and subject to the vagaries of the weather. Now, I don't know the history of the service stations, but obviously they would have sprung up in response to the increase in the number of automobiles. Uh, if you carried extra fuel and cans, you could go much further, but it was a real adventure to go any place. Here we are, we're getting ready to start our journey. We'll zero the trip meter. Looks like we got 101 miles on the charge. So we're off to Mount Savage. We're getting ready to drive an electric vehicle across the state. What do you think our chances are? Well, I think you're gonna have a great time. We thought a great place to start our trip would be here at the Oakland train station in downtown Oakland because it shows how important infrastructure was to the railroad back in the 1800s. 